rather patient is here, Doctor. Very well. Send her in. Now, she may be shy and bashful and unwilling to chit-chat, so please be polite, okie dokies. Okie dokies. Oh, well, oh, well, it's my little dog on, baby. Elmira. Hiya, Mr. Dr. Matt. You want to look inside my little head? Well, uh, yes, perhaps. But first, I want you to meet some other patients of mine. Look at the cute fuzzy heads! What are you? Puppies? Kitties? Big fuzzy buggy? We're the Warner Brothers. And the Warner sister. Well, I'm the Warner hugger and kisser and squeezer into itty bitty pieces. Nice to meet you. Okay now, everyone, let's settle down and let's all have fun with Mr. Puppet Head! Oh, I love Mr. Puppet Head! Figures. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Puppet Head. <laughs> Is there something you kiddies would like to share with Mr. Puppet Head? Uh, nope. Not me. I'd like to share. Good. What? This <gasps> naughty puppet. Yay, yay, yay. I mean. Are you all right, Mr. Puppet Head? No, I got a woogie on my noggin. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Puppet Head. I'll take care of you with a great big huggy poo. I'm going to make you all better and love you and kiss you and be nursing nurse for the sick little woogie noggin. Oh, the humanity. They're all better. Mr. Puppet Head, what else? Nobody's home. There's an understatement. I know. Let's engage in some parallel play with a little non-competitive gaming, yeah? Say what? He means, let's play hug the puppy heads! I'm gonna hug you and squeeze you and take you home and dress you up like little ponies and we'll play Rodeo Cowgirls! I got another idea. Let's play What Happened to the Warners. What happened to the... Warners? Don't you worry, Mr. Dr. Man Wrinklehead. I'll find him. Oh, uh, Warners! That was a close one. That was a weird one. On the board! Woo -hoo! <laughs> We're gonna play Petty. Oh, I'm Uncle Joe in the movie gotta throw. Come back! I got some taffy. Excuse me, Mr. Gorman Face. Have you seen the little Warner Heads? Uh, the Warner Heads? Uh, well, I uh, the Warners. There you are. Some hiding place. It was warm. Come back! Here I come to love you to pieces! Pleased to meet you, Yakko. Name's Francis Pump Handle, but everyone calls me Pip. Great cheese balls, huh, Pip? I'll say. Cheese balls are one of my all-time favorite foods. I always seem to meet the most interesting people when I'm around them, too. In fact, cheese balls bring to mind the time I met Bob Barker. You don't say. Yes, indeed. Bob Barker. 
star of the most popular morning game show. He's an MC, a host, and a celebrity all rolled into one. Anyway, eight months ago, it was Tuesday the 17th, I believe, or it might have been the 18th. No, no, it was definitely the 17th because it was precisely one week after my Aunt Lucretia's birthday, which is the 10th. Aunt Lucretia's quite a woman, loves to cook. She prepares a fabulous warshu op. That's a Chinese duck dish. I love Chinese food. I once went to a party where they served Chinese food and cheese balls. Now that was a Catch-22 situation. Catch-22 was a movie, you know. It was long, very long. They say the book was better, but it was a novel, and I never finished reading those things. Well, isn't that interesting? Of course, a lot of people don't read much nowadays. They watch television. I caught a program on PBS last night. A very what good show on chimpanzees in the Pfeiffer media. They had a clip of Never J. Mind. Fred There's Muggs, a person up here you got me. Today show. Mel Gibson? But it was Fred's chimpanzee Close. girlfriend that had me stumped. I couldn't remember her name, so I looked it up. Her name was Phoebe B. Beebe. Oh. Dot Warner, this is Francis Pumphandle, but everyone, everyone calls, calls me, me Pip. Pip. Anyway, as I was saying, eight months ago, Tuesday the 17th, I went downtown on a nice relaxing my stroll. Badly. I love to relax. In fact, relaxing is a pastime of mine. Some people play golf, others like tennis, horseshoes, bridge, canasta, and other such fancy hobbies. Wacko Warner, meet Pip. Bye. Charm to meet you. Now, another hobby enjoyed by many is knitting. My grandmother was a great knitter. Knitted this sweater I'm wearing. It's red, which is not my favorite color. I prefer mauve or mustard yellow. Now, don't get me wrong, red is okay for ties and suspenders, but with sweaters, I prefer more neutral colors. I have to go. But when I'm relaxing, I don't care what I wear. Long pants, Bermuda shorts, t-shirts or formal attire, you name it, anything goes. Now, on the 17th, during my relaxing stroll, I recall wearing my herringbone jacket, my Laughlin Nevada souvenir tie, and my charcoal gray slacks. Or was it the navy slacks? Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? What matters is comfort. You know, I once stayed at a comfort Don't inn. Back, Warm, cozy, comfortable. I love comfort. It goes along with that pastime of mine, relaxing. Now, for me, there's nothing more relaxing than Go a away. nice leisurely stroll like the one I took eight months ago on the 17th. It was a bright, sunny day, this which, of course, is the me. optimum condition for relaxed strolling. You can't say it hasn't been and grand, as I because along, it hasn't. I found you gotta run. Bye. a haunting melody. I kept humming and humming and humming and humming. I couldn't get the tune out of my head. Retreat! Snip a pretty new dress. Are you kidding? With his figure? Would you like to take a survey? No, we wouldn't, but he would. Do you eat beans? Would you like to see a new movie starring George Wen? I know. How about we get Scratchy a birthday suit? Would you like to take a survey? No, would you like to take a hike? Would you like to take a survey? Never give up, do you? We're persistent. Try using a better deodorant. <laughs> Would you like to take a survey? Yeah! How about this for Scratchy? Would you like to take a survey? I'm so very pleased to meet you. That'll change. Let me guess. You must be Dit. Dot. Dot. Right. Wiggy! Wacko. Right. And you. You must be... This ought to be good. Petey Pie! Close! Good for you! It's Yakko. And, uh, who might you be? I'm Prunella Flundergust, your new nanny! Oh. And oh my, we're going to have such fun together. We'll sing, we'll dance, we'll bicycle wearing clothes made of upholstery fabric, and we'll eat all of the greens off of our plate. Are you on medication? <laughs> I'm just 
sure we're going to get on famously together. Don't be frightened. It's only thunder. Where? Fear not, my little sweet things. Thunder is just noise. It can't hurt you. So, don't be scared. Hmm? Lady, the only thing scaring us around here is you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, sweet, adorable Petey Pie. Don't worry, Prunella won't let anything eat you. Why don't you go bug the kids on Goof Troop? <laughs> oh, dear, sweet, adorable Dit. <laughs> you know, whenever I'm scared like you, I ponder all the things that make me feel warm and squeezy inside. You're not going to sing again, are you? Uh-huh. Oh. Fun Bob Hope specials and spam on the griddle. Small bouncing babies with long strands of spittle. Merry hot hair shriners in a parade. That's what I ponder when I am afraid. Paintings of children with really huge eyeballs. Big chubby cats as they cough up their hairballs. Poor Harvey's head crushing bugs with the spade. That's what I ponder when I am afraid. Fuzzy Slippers, Leonard Morton, and those Olsen twins. Just ponder these thoughts when fear has you ensnared. Your frowns will turn into greens. Good night. And now, Animators Alley. Your hosts, the Warner Brothers. Today, our guest is Cappy Cap Barnhouse, a pioneer in animation. Welcome, Cappy. It's a pleasure to join you. Why, were we coming apart? Say that again? Never mind. Cappy, you were with the Warner Brothers Studio from the very beginning, right? Yeah, I started with Warner's back when all we made were pies. We just started making cartoons when people weren't buying the pies. Now, see, I was back in 19... <sighs> Oh, I don't know, but it was back when we made pies. <laughs> One day, the head guy, Leon something or other, he says to me, he says, Cappy, today I don't want you to make a pie. I want you to make a cartoon. <laughs> well, Rudy Ising and Hugh Harmon and Frizz and me and some other guy with a lisp was brought on board. And then we made our first cartoon, which was uh, a Bosco and Honey. Well, we made a few of those, and then I took a look. Pies! We made pies! Uh, the cartoons came later. And speaking of cartoons, let's get this show on the road. We now return to Animator's Alley. So uh, then in 43, we made Winky the finicky tapeworm. He lived inside a British buffalo. She pooped a lot. Then we made a bunch of fish cartoons. Fish are funny creatures. We did Timmy Tuna, Barney Bash, and Frida the Overly Friendly Fluke. But the fish lip is the hardest to draw. I've seen people scream when they see a poorly drawn fish lip because they think it's a monster, but it's just a fish lip. Lips are important. You can't talk without lips. Well, you could, but you'd sound like... We now return to Animator's Alley. In 1954, I got a bunion, so I figures, what if a bunion could talk? That's when I come up with Bunyan Boy. Bunyan Boy lived on a farmer's toe. Uh, I think that was a mistake. Farmers step in things that aren't decent. Then in 57, I made Kiki the sickly lemur. Would you like me to talk about it? Well, all right. Kiki had no torso. 